What is up guys, this is Val from Premiere 3D and a while ago when I released um, my material pack I also made a tutorial on how to install it. Someone actually left a comment saying how do you actually make a material pack? Like, How do you make the file that I, I put it in which was the .lib4d file which is you know like an e easy way of actually installing it within Cinema 4D so you can view it in your content browser and like this is a material pack here and so they're all there so you don't actually have to open them as a different project file and then drag them back in into your project so yeah this is a really helpful way of you know just keeping your workflow clean and more efficient um, so say you've made a material you know you've gotten all changed the colors and everything you know I'm not gonna bother making one uh, you want to go to your content browser, which on R13 is here. On R12, there should be like a little globe somewhere around here. You click that and it'll pop up. Um, so yeah, so go File, then New Preset Library, and just type, I'm just going to type Tutorial. And as you can see, it's opened up, and that's the file I created. So you want to go back into there, just drag this in. And as you can see, you've got now one material in there. You can add as many materials in in there as you want, I think. Uh, I haven't, you know, seen a limit of it, but there might be. So, yeah. So now you've made the actual lib4d file. Uh, so there's no coding or whatever. So it's pretty simple. Then, so, say you want to now give it away and upload it to Mediafire or whatever you want to go right click and then show in finder and here it's opened the, the files that you, I've made so let's just take this now to to my desktop uh, and as you can see that's the file I made so now if you want you can just you know drag it over here uh, if you don't want it, if you want it to stay in there, you can always just copy and paste it, uh, and then you can go up onto Mediafire and upload it, and then give the link away. And as you can see, it's uh, done it itself, and it's a .lib4d file. So you know, pretty simple concept, uh, really helpful way of giving free materials. You can even do free models. So. I've actually uh, I've put collected some models here, and so it's easy for me to import them into Cinema 4D. So as you can see, this was a free model Maxon gave away. Um, yeah, and these two models here, I've actually given away. A friend made them. Uh, some pretty cool models. So I'll link you to. Uh, all the videos I've talked about and so yeah thanks for watching and goodbye remember, uh, remember to like my Facebook page and Twitter Twitter is more important um, I use it a lot more and subscribe so yeah thanks for watching goodbye